All right, it's Dave Johan for the Boxing Voice. Pleased to be joined by Dave Coldwell after the instant knockout of, um, unfortunately, Kid Galahad. How did you see that going? Do you know what? I've just, I've just said it to the guys. It is genuinely the most shocking thing I've ever seen ringside in the sport, ever. I'm completely blown away. It was so one-sided. Just complete dominance control and I was just marvelling at what Kid Gallard was doing. And then the next minute, boom, heavy, heavy knockdown. It's like, what? And then he came out after a minute's break and it wasn't enough. And, and that's it. But that's what makes this sport so good. You could even sense the, the silence, couldn't you? Because it was just like, like a pin dropping. It was completely deafening. Unbelievable. Yeah, deafening silence. Yeah, it was just unbelievable. I don't think anyone could believe what we've just seen because it was so one-sided. Because it was so just, what, what's he going to do this round? What's, what, what's he want to do? Does he want to stand in pocket? Does he want to stand at range? Whatever he wants to do, he was a master of until that one second. And then that was it. And Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, at the moment as well, um Foreigners have come to, to home soil, taken belts. This is another one of those. Terry Harper as well lost her, lost her titles in, in emphatic fashion, unfortunately. What, what were your thoughts on that? Did you see that coming? No, I didn't see it coming. Uh, but in the first, to be fair, in the first round, the girl came out and shot some great body shots, jabs. Just, just it sounds basic. But a good jab to the body. If you can throw that with good quality, you're a good fighter. And she was landing some really good jabs to the body. And I thought, oh... She's all right, but then there was a phase where I thought, oh, is she is she gonna is she gonna blow herself out a little bit? But she didn't. And and when she caught Terry, um, Terry was gone. It was a great stoppage by Mark Lyson. Great stoppage, really, really good stoppage. Do you think her hand had anything to do with it as well? Because when she had the operation, no, I had nothing to do with her hand. Nothing to do. With her. You can't you can't say that. She's 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 had her she's had her hand injury. She's come back from it. It's boxing. It's boxing. That's, that, that's what people, when people write fighters off, that's what I've got to understand. Everybody has a chance. Once you get in that ring, anybody can get hurt. And you've seen that tonight. You've seen that twice. Going on to, on to your fighter as well, Mr. Derek Chisora. How is he? How is the big man? Yeah, he's good. He's good. His training is going really well. He's he's happy in the gym. He's he's doing everything that I need him to do. Um, a little bit mischievous at, at the press conference. Cause that's that's him. He likes to be, um, but in the gym he's great. And I'm looking forward to the fight. It's going to be a very very good fight. Both fighters going to be better. It's a very very dangerous fight for both fighters. And on the night, we'll see. He never made it easy for for uh, for Joseph the first time round, did he? Just jumped on him straight away. Um, and again, you're not going to give away any tactics, but... I thought I expected a seven-second knock, knockdown this time. I think that's a, that's a little bit much trying to, trying to match that. I don't expect a seven-second knockdown. Um, maybe eight or nine. <laughs> no, um, it's a good fight. They're both, both good fighters. Um, Parker's definitely going to be better. Derek's definitely going to be better. Um, I think the fans are going to enjoy it more. Good stuff. And finally, just wanted to get your opinions on the big one next week. Bud Crawford, Sean Porter. I, know, I That's don't even the hit... big one. Yeah. That is the big one. What do you reckon? Oh, I can't wait. Have you seen that Blood, Sweat and Tears? No. Brilliant. You've got to watch it. Brilliant. Um, Porter makes every fight hard for anybody who fights. Nobody has an easy night against him. And I expect Crawford to have an hard night as well. But I think Crawford's extra 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 little bit of quality intelligence ability i think he has the edge <laughs> and a very final one i'm not going to ask you about jake paul logan paul or anything like that because i know you love it don't you um, <laughs> it's more about um amir khan and cal brook um, oh, really? yeah what, what do you reckon you haven't really gone up many levels there oh, what, what, what do you reckon though do you think it's fine do you think no, it's finally gonna happen listen, listen I, again i said this a while ago i will not talk about that fight until it's signed because I spent about I feel, how, how old am I? I'm 46 I must have, I must have been talking about this since I was 36 I just feel like I've been talking about this, this fight for years and years and years 
And until it's signed, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It, listen, it's not the fight it once was, but if it happens, will I watch it? Yeah. 100% yeah. And will most people that say, oh, I'll never watch it, will they watch it? Yeah. But until it's signed, I'm, don't ask me about that question. Don't ask me about that fight. No problem, Dave. We'll ask you about something else next time. You have a good one, mate. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Okay. Thanks. Cheers. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.com backslash the Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Tidal, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.